All right, well, let the lockdowns and the government response to COVID be yet another horrifying example of unintended consequences from the government. According to the John Muir Medical Center, they've seen more deaths from suicide than from COVID, and one doctor said they've seen a year's worth of suicide attempts just in the last four weeks. Absolutely terrible. Now, of course, some of those suicides are probably from people who were depressed or had some issues beforehand, but I wonder how many of them were due to the fact that government just laid out a landmine in front of their life and destroyed everything. Any small business owner that just had their life's work completely destroyed because of one decision by one governor. Everything is gone now. It's just horrible. Or how much of it was women who couldn't take the domestic abuse they'd been suffering anymore, as apparently domestic abuse reports more than doubled during the lockdowns. I mean, you strip people of their rights, you shove them into their homes, take everything away, it's going to result in some horrible behavior. It's going to make some people lash out at those around them, and that can cause people to give in to that hopeless feeling and just end it. Government is at the root of all of this, and no one has the right to forget it. And if the Libertarian Party has any sense at all, by the way, they need to be relentless in pointing this out and bringing this up. It should become almost like a tick to them. Just keep reminding everyone of the thermonuclear bomb the government set off within the economy. It's so bad that an unprecedented number of people are now food insecure, and many of them worry about being able to feed their kids. The government doesn't seem to understand that the economy is a networked web. If you affect one part of it, it can and often does have an effect elsewhere where you may not think. Uh, so now people are struggling to feed themselves. How long until people starve to death or become malnourished? Just because we've had it so good for so long doesn't mean that it cannot happen here. There's an extraordinarily complex system that puts food on the shelves of grocery stores. It doesn't just magically appear. If you grind the economy and the country to a halt, this should not be shocking to anyone. It should not be a shocking outcome. Well, maybe government knew, or maybe they didn't, but in either case, they're either evil or incompetent to a staggering degree. This could cause massive problems, and especially among malnourished children who are still developing. This could cause problems that last well into adulthood. This could very well reverberate throughout their entire life. And what else will keep going after the lockdowns end? Well, just think for a minute. What have we seen? We've seen the government is capable and willing to snap a finger and destroy a hefty percentage of the entire economy. They are willing to annihilate people's businesses. Some person may have had an idea for some product or service and they think, I'm going to forego a stable, decent paying job. I'm going to go into debt, take on a huge amount of risk on the off chance that this pays off. I'll provide a product or service to my community, and I'll carve out a life for myself with that. Hopefully it all pans out. Well, there are a lot of things that can cause a business to fail, but now here's a new one for everyone to see. Your business may just fail because the government simply says you need to board it up, lock your doors, no one's allowed to come to your place of business, and your suppliers are on lockdown too. So to any person out there who may have been thinking about starting a business and taking on that risky venture, what kind of message does this send to them? It sends a very clear message that despite doing a noble thing, doing the risky but bold move of starting your business, it might just be destroyed by one simple government decree. You want to inject a huge dose of hopelessness into society? This is a great way of doing it. Who in their right mind now would start a business when you've seen that government can take it all away at a moment's notice? I don't know, but again, this is something the Libertarian Party needs to be hounding over and over. It needs to be their main central point right now, as this is unprecedented. No one has ever seen the U.S. government blatantly and fragrantly wield such a disturbing amount of power and cause so much destruction among its own citizens. I mean, it has done worse throughout history, but not in my lifetime anyway. These people should never be trusted again and an immediate decline in their power needs to be the top priority of every thinking person. But anyway, that's all for now. Like, subscribe, share, and take it easy.